to global defense. The IAI K FIR, developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, is a notable multi role fighter jet with a unique backstory. Its creation stemmed from Israel's need to maintain air superiority after being denied access to the French Mirage 5 due to an arms embargo imposed by France in the late 1960s. Israel, having already paid for the Mirage 5 aircraft, found itself in a precarious position as the French government, under President Charles de Gaulle, sought to mend relations with the Arab world, leading to a sudden and unexpected halt in military support for Israel. Refusing to be left vulnerable, Israel took matters into its own hands by using industrial espionage to gather the technical data necessary to reverse engineer the Mirage 5. This effort resulted in the creation of the Nesher, which was later upgraded and evolved into the Kefir, or Lion Cub. The Kefir was powered by a Bedek built General Electric J79 engine, providing the aircraft with significant thrust and enabling it to reach impressive speeds of up to 1,520 miles per hour. The Kefir entered service with the Israeli Air Force, IAF, in 1975, and saw its first combat action two years later in a strike against a training camp in Lebanon. Despite its advanced capabilities, the Kefir's prominence in the IAF was short-lived. Um, by the early 1980s, Israel had begun to rely more heavily on American aircraft, such as the F-15 Eagle and the F-16 Fighting Falcon, relegating the Kefir to secondary roles in unescorted strike missions. The aircraft was gradually phased out of service in Israel by the 1990s. Today, the FIR remains in service with several countries that rely on older aircraft, including Colombia, Ecuador, and Sri Lanka. While its operational history might not be as illustrious as some other jets, the Kefir's development story is a testament to Israel's determination to secure its defense capabilities. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to receive notifications, share with others, and thank you for listening to Global Defense.